one of the big issues we have started to face in the past few years is that rice yield has reached its limits already. That means it has given its best. It could already produce um, based on the environment where it's growing, where it's a tropical environment. We have what we call the yield limit. It has reached its yield limit of about 10 tons per hectare as what we have seen in our long-term yield trials. Now, we had asked the question, population starts to grow, but yield is not increasing. Land to which rice is planted is decreasing. So how do we keep up with the increasing demand of the population for food? So we had to think things differently. We have, ERI has been in existence for the past 30 years and we have different studies of how to maximize yield, but at a certain point it has reached its limit, as I had said. So we were thinking, how should we do things differently? How should we increase yield differently? That's where the idea of C4 photosynthesis, which is um, a certain system of photosynthesis which is found in other crops like corn, and sugarcane and sorghum and these plants as we find in different environments yield productively higher yields rice belongs to a group called c3 plants and c3 plants are not as productive as c4 plants so we were thinking if we could make uh, the rice plant have its yield and its performance and its photosynthesis behave like these productive plants like maize sorghum and sugarcane that is a possibility because we have had, we are in the modeling group as well. We can use tools or like the models to be able to predict what would the performance of this certain crops be. And we were able to show that if we could transfer that kind of photosynthetic system for rice, we found that we could increase yields by 50%. And that was remarkable because uh, by the year 2050, did you know that? Two billion people are at risk going hungry and we need that much yield leap it's really yield leap not just yield increase to be able to produce that much of food so that was a vision that we found somewhere around 1999 we, we were thinking about this concept already because we did find out that yield of rice has reached its limits already so that was one of the big issues that we were wanting to, con to confront ourselves with as early as 1999 C4 photosynthesis in rice, if you are in, in, the, in the science world, it's something like it's very unthinkable, so you're really like pushing yourself to the limits. So what we did in 1999 was we gathered the best minds in photosynthesis from different universities, from premier institutions. We collectively came together and asked the question, is it possible to have the C4 photosynthesis adapted in rice or to be expressed in rice? for the point of, for the reason or for the objective of increasing yield. Initially, we were testing ideas, pushing ideas back and forth, using the different uh, molecular biology techniques and information. So somehow these great minds put together an idea, yes, there is a possibility. 